Holland. Holland is a region and former province on the western coast of the Netherlands. The name Holland is also frequently used informally to refer to the whole of the country of the Netherlands. This usage is commonly accepted in other countries, and sometimes employed by the Dutch themselves. However, some in the Netherlands, particularly those from regions outside Holland, may find it undesirable or misrepresentative to use the term for the whole country. From the 10th to the 16th century, Holland proper was a unified political region within the Holy Roman Empire as a county ruled by the Counts of Holland. By the 17th century, the province of Holland had risen to become a maritime and economic power, dominating the other provinces of the newly independent Dutch Republic. The area of the former county of Holland roughly coincides with the two current Dutch provinces of North Holland and South Holland in which it was divided, which together include the Netherlands' three largest cities, the de jure capital city of Amsterdam, Rotterdam, home of Europe's largest port, and the seat of government of The Hague. The name Holland first appeared in sources for the region around Harlem, and by 1064 was being used as the name of the entire county. By the early 12th century, the inhabitants of Holland were called Hollandy in a Latin text. Holland is derived from the old Dutch term Holtland, woodland. This spelling variation remained in use until around the 14th century, at which time the name stabilized as Holland. Alternative spellings at the time were Holland and Holland. A popular but erroneous folk etymology holds that Holland is derived from Holland, hollow land in Dutch, purportedly inspired by the low lying geography of the land. Holland is informally used in English and other languages, including sometimes the Dutch language itself, to mean the whole of the modern country of the Netherlands. This example of pars pro toto or synecdoche is similar to the tendency to refer to the United Kingdom as England, and developed due to Holland's becoming the dominant province and thus having the majority of political and economic interactions with other countries. On one occasion Holland became the legal name for the whole country, when in 1806 by suggestion of Napoleon this usage was made official and the puppet kingdom ruled by his brother Louis Bonaparte was given the name Kingdom of Holland. This was dropped after the retreat of the French troops in 1813, Dutch dignitaries proclaiming the sovereign principality of the United Netherlands. The people of Holland are referred to as Hollanders in both Dutch and English, though in English this now unusual and nearly archaic dot today this refers specifically to people from the current provinces of North Holland and South Holland. Strictly speaking, the term Hollanders does not refer to people from the other provinces in the Netherlands, but colloquially Hollanders is sometimes used in this wider sense. In Dutch, the Dutch word Hollands is the adjectival form for Holland. The Dutch word Hollands is also colloquially and occasionally used by some Dutch people in the sense of Nederlands, Dutch, but often with the intention of contrasting with other types of Dutch people or language, for example Limburgish, the Belgian varieties of the Dutch language. Flemish, or even any southern variety of Dutch within the Netherlands itself. In English, Dutch refers to the Netherlands as a whole, but there is no commonly used adjective for Holland. The word Hollandish is no longer in common use. Hollandic is the name linguists give to the dialect spoken in Holland, and is occasionally also used by historians and when referring to pre-Napoleonic Holland. Initially, Holland was a remote corner of the Holy Roman Empire. Gradually, its regional importance increased until it began to have a decisive, and ultimately dominant, influence on the history of the Netherlands. Until the start of the 12th century, the inhabitants of the area that became Holland were known as Frisians. The area was initially part of Frisia. At the end of the 9th century, West Frisia became a separate county in the Holy Roman Empire. The first count known about with certainty was Dirk I, who ruled from 896 to 931. He was succeeded by a long line of counts in the House of Holland, who were in fact known as Counts of Frisia until 1101. When John I, Count of Holland, died childless in 1299, the county was inherited by John II of Avesnes, Count of Anodot by the time of William V, House of Wittelsbach, 1354-1388, the Count of Holland was also the Count of Anodot in Zealand. After the St. Lucia's flood in 1287 the part of Frisia west of the later Zedersee, West Friesland, was conquered. As a result, most provincial institutions, including the states of Holland and West Frisia, would for more than five centuries refer to Holland and West Frisia as a unit. The Hook and Cod Wars started around this time and ended when the Countess of Holland, Jacoba or Jacqueline was forced to cede Holland to the Burgundian Philip III, known as Philip the Good, in 1432. In 1432, 
Holland became part of the Burgundian Netherlands and since 1477 of the Habsburg 17 provinces. In the 16th century the county became the most densely urbanized region in Europe, with the majority of the population living in cities. Within the Burgundian Netherlands, Holland was the dominant province in the north, the political influence of Holland largely determined the extent of Burgundian dominion in that area. The last count of Holland was Philip III, better known as Philip II, King of Spain. He was deposed in 1581 by the Act of Abjuration, although the kings of Spain continued to carry the titular appellation of Count of Holland until the Peace of Munster signed in 1648. In the Dutch rebellion against the Habsburgs during the Eighty Years' War, the naval forces of the rebels, the Water Guzen, established their first permanent base in 1572 in the town of Brill. In this way, Holland, now a sovereign state in a larger Dutch confederation, became the center of the rebellion. It became the cultural, political and economic center of the United Provinces. In the 17th century, the Dutch Golden Age, the wealthiest nation in the world. After the King of Spain was deposed as the Count of Holland, the executive and legislative power rested with the states of Holland which was led by a political figure who held the office of Grand Pensionary. The largest cities in the Dutch Republic were in the province of Holland, such as Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Leiden, Alkmaar, The Hague, Delft, Dordrecht, and Haarlem. From the great ports of Holland, Hollandic merchants sailed to and from destinations all over Europe, and merchants from all over Europe gathered to trade in the warehouses of Amsterdam and other trading cities of Holland. Many Europeans thought of the United Provinces first as Holland rather than as the Republic of the Seven United Provinces of the Netherlands. A strong impression of Holland was planted in the minds of other Europeans, which then was projected back onto the Republic as a holdout within the provinces themselves. A gradual slow process of cultural expansion took place, leading to a Hollandification of the other provinces and a more uniform culture for the whole of the Republic. The dialect of urban Holland became the standard language. The formation of the Batavian Republic, inspired by the French Revolution, led to a more centralized government. Holland became a province of the unitary state. Its independence was further reduced by an administrative reform in 1798, in which its territory was divided into several departments called Amstel, Delft, Texel, and part of Schilde and Maas. From 1806 to 1810, Napoleon styled his vassal state governed by his brother Louis Napoleon and shortly by the son of Louis, Napoleon Louis Bonaparte, as the Kingdom of Holland. This kingdom encompassed much of what would become the modern Netherlands. The name reflects how natural at the time it had become to equate Holland with the non-Belgian Netherlands as a whole. During the period when the Low Countries were annexed by the French Empire and actually incorporated into France, from 1810 to 1813, Holland was divided into departments Zuiderzee, and Bouche de la Meuse. From 1811 to 1813 Charles François Le Brun, Duc de Plaisance served as governor general. He was assisted by Antoine de Selves, Gosrin de Stossard and François-Jean Baptiste d'Alphonse. After 1813, Holland was restored as a province of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands. Holland was divided into the present provinces North Holland and South Holland in 1840, after the Belgian Revolution of 1830. This reflected a historical division of Holland along the edge into a southern quarter, Zuiderk Wardier and a northern quarter, no order courtier, but the present division is different from the old division. From 1850, a strong process of nation formation took place, the Netherlands being culturally unified and economically integrated by a modernization process, with the cities of Holland as its center. Holland is situated in the west of the Netherlands. A maritime region, Holland lies on the North Sea at the mouths of the Rhine and the Meuse, Maas. It contains numerous rivers and lakes, and has an extensive inland canal and waterway system. To the south is Zeeland. The region is bordered on the east by the Iselmere and four Dutch provinces. Holland is protected from the sea by a long line of coastal dunes. The highest point in Holland, about above sea level, is in the Schorl Dunes. Most of the land area behind the dunes consists of polder landscape lying well below sea level. At present the lowest point in Holland is a polder near Rotterdam, which is about below sea level. Continuous drainage is necessary to keep Holland from flooding. In earlier centuries windmills were used for this task. The landscape was, and in places still is, dotted with windmills, which have become a symbol of Holland. Holland is, land and water included, making it roughly 13% of the area of the Netherlands. Looking at land alone, it is an area. The combined population is 6.1 million.
The main cities in Holland are Amsterdam, Rotterdam, and The Hague. Amsterdam is formerly the capital of the Netherlands and its largest city. The port of Rotterdam is Europe's largest and most important harbor and port. The Hague is the seat of government of the Netherlands. These cities, combined with Utrecht and other smaller municipalities, effectively form a single metroplex, a conurbation called Ronstadt. The Ronstadt area is one of the most densely populated regions of Europe, but still relatively free of urban sprawl. There are strict zoning laws. Population pressures are enormous, property values are high, and new housing is constantly under development on the edges of the built up areas. Surprisingly, much of the province still has a rural character. The remaining agricultural land and natural areas are highly valued and protected. Most of the arable land is used for intensive agriculture including horticulture and greenhouse agribusinesses. The land that is now Holland has not been stable since prehistoric times. The western coastline shifted up to, to the east and storm surges regularly broke through the row of coastal dunes. The Frisian Isles, originally joined to the mainland, became detached islands in the north. The main rivers, the Rhine and the Meuse, Maas, flooded regularly and changed course repeatedly and dramatically. The people of Holland found themselves living in an unstable, watery environment. Behind the dunes on the coast of the Netherlands a high peak plateau had grown, forming a natural protection against the sea. Much of the area was marsh and bog. By the 10th century the inhabitants set about cultivating this land by draining it. However, the drainage resulted in extreme soil shrinkage, lowering the surface of the land by up to to the south of Holland, in Zeeland, and to the north, in Frisia. This development led to catastrophic storm floods literally washing away entire regions, as the peat layer disintegrated or became detached and was carried away by the flood water. From the Frisian side the sea even flooded the area to the east, gradually hollowing Holland out from behind and forming the Zuider Sea, the present Iselmeer. This inland sea threatened to link up with the drownedlands of Zeeland in the south, reducing Holland to a series of narrow dune barrier islands in front of a lagoon. Only drastic administrative intervention savaged the county from utter destruction. The counts and large monasteries took the lead in these efforts, building the first heavy emergency dikes to bolster critical points. Later special autonomous administrative bodies were formed, the Waters Chapin, Water Control Boards, which had the legal power to enforce affair regulations and decisions on water management. They eventually constructed an extensive dike system that covered the coastline and the polders, thus protecting the land from further incursions by the sea. However, the Hollanders did not stop there. Starting around the 16th century, they took the offensive and began land reclamation projects, converting lakes, marshy areas and adjoining mudflats into polders. This continued well into the 20th century. As a result, historical maps of medieval and early modern Holland bear little resemblance to present maps. This ongoing struggle to master the water played an important role in the development of Holland as a maritime and economic power, and has traditionally been seen as developing the presumed collective character of its inhabitants, stubborn, egalitarian and frugal. The stereotypical image of Holland is an artificial amalgam of tulips, windmills, clogs, cheese and traditional dress, colder drat, but this is far from the reality of everyday Holland. This can at least in part be explained by the active exploitation of these stereotypes in promotions of Holland and the Netherlands. In fact, only in a few of the more traditional villages, such as Volendam and locations in the Zon area, are the different costumes with wooden shoes still worn by some inhabitants. The predominance of Holland in the Netherlands has resulted in regionalism on the part of the other provinces, a reaction to the perceived threat that Holland poses to their local culture and identity. The other provinces have a strong, and often negative, image of Holland and the Hollanders, to whom certain qualities are ascribed within a mental geography, a conceptual mapping of spaces and their inhabitants. On the other hand, some Hollanders take Holland's cultural dominance for granted and treat the concepts of Holland and the Netherlands as coinciding. Consequently, they see themselves not primarily as Hollanders, but simply as Dutch, Netherlanders. This phenomenon has been called Hollandocentrism. The predominant language spoken in Holland is Dutch. Hollanders sometimes call the Dutch language Hollands, instead of the standard term Nederlands. Inhabitants of Belgium and other provinces of the Netherlands use Hollands to mean a Hollandic dialect or strong accent. Standard Dutch was historically largely based on the dialect of the county of Holland, incorporating many traits derived from the dialects of the previously more powerful Duchy of Brabant and County of Flanders. 
Strong dialectal variation still exists throughout the Low Countries. Today, Holland proper is the region where the original dialects are least spoken, in many areas having been completely replaced by Standard Dutch, and the Randstad has the largest influence on the developments of the Standard language, with the exception of the Dutch spoken in Belgium. Despite this correspondence between Standard Dutch and the Dutch spoken in the Randstad, there are local variations within Holland itself that differ from Standard Dutch. The main cities each have their own modern urban dialect, that can be considered a sociolect. Some people, especially in the area north of Amsterdam, still speak the original dialect of the county, Hollandic. This dialect is present in the north, Volendam and Marken and the area around there, West Friesland and the Zonstreek, and in a southeastern fringe bordering the provinces of North Brabant and Utrecht. In the south on the island of Gori over Flaky, Zeelandic is spoken. The province of Holland gave its name to a number of colonial settlements and discovered regions that were called New Holland or New Holland. The largest was the island continent presently known as Australia. New Holland was first applied to Australia in 1644 by the Dutch seafarer Dirk Hartig as a Latin Nova Hollandia, and remained in international use for 190 years. Dutch explorer Abel Tasman named New Zealand after the Dutch province of Zeeland. In the Netherlands, Nieuw Holland would remain the usual name of the continent until the end of the 19th century, it is now no longer in use there, the Dutch name today being Australi. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.